Following last week's debate on exorbitant school fees charged by both government-aided and private schools in Parliament last week, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayewa, sent the matter to the Education Committee. This was after the State Minister for Primary Education, Moriko Kaduchu, told the House that government did not have the legal basis to sanction schools charging exorbitant fees and other school requirements. The law has given some gaps in terms of statutory instrument and regulatory framework. Today, the committee held its first meeting to handle the matter. Although the proceedings were close to the media, some of the MPs divulged some of the details from the meeting. A lot of money is being spent in these grant-aided schools. When you look at most of the schools where everybody would wish to take their child, government pays at least 50, between 50 to 60 percent, some even 70 percent of the teachers. Some of them, government even goes ahead to construct some blocks, accommodation, science laboratories and all that for them. So it is my plea to the committee, and I hope that the House will be able to look at this matter, is for the government to withdraw from these schools. If you're drawing money from the government, from the taxpayer, but you're also charging much fees, it's like there's a question, why would government move to fund such schools when there are many other schools that are struggling, community schools, why doesn't government move and build schools? Busia Municipality MP Geoffrey Macho says school management committees and boards should be stripped of powers to fix school fee structures. Education Act empowers a lot the school management committees and the board of governors to set up the fees structures and also determine how much a, a, a child should be who paid for. And I think this is a challenge that uh, uh, we are facing as a country and uh, 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 we must discuss how to regulate this so that the powers can be given to government to set a standard. The MPs believe that the amendment of the 2008 Education Act is key in regulating the exorbitant school fee structure to support those who can't afford the hefty fees paid. The Education Act and of course once that also is looked at then we shall be able to at least fair solve the problem. Tomorrow, the Education Committee is expected to present a comprehensive report in Parliament. The Minister of Education is also expected to make a statement to the House on the matter. Ali Mivole, and, and evaluating and 